Okay, this is a, uh, a meteorite, and this meteorite is uh, an iron meteorite. And um, you see all this crystalline structure when they cut it in half, this is what it looks like. Now, you see that black spot and that red spot? I'm saying that this was a, a, a part from a creature, and likely a lung, which is saturated in blood. Now, that is a red arterial vascularization, which means it has the oxygenated blood, which is FeO3. It has three oxygens. Now, once that stuff uses its all up its oxygen inside of the, the tissues, it comes back black. And that's a vein, and that's the FeO2. And it only has two oxygens. And so it's black and red. And it's fully understood. This is nothing that I'm making up. Totally understood. You break your a bone and you injure a vein, you're going to have black. And, and the bone has uh, ferritins in it, which are black too. So the black is fully understood. The red is fully understood. Nobody can dispute this. And the, the chemicals are here to prove that as well. And they just have to be looked at. It's not, why would this meteorite have a black hole and a red hole, a vein and an artery in it? It was alive at one time. I don't know what it was. A lung, a, a liver, a, a, a leg. I don't know. I have no clue what it was. But I can tell you what happens is when it comes through the outer space and it enters into the earth and there are these iron ones, I think it's got to be uh, from a, uh, a, a, a lung because the lung is 100%. <laughs> blood virtually. Now, what happens is it came through the atmosphere, it smelts it, just like they put it in a, in a factory furnace, and it, it blows off all of the organic stuff, it, 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 what they call it sublimates them, it volatile vaporizes them, and what you end up with is the heavier metals and so forth, and this is trapped inside that matrix. And these crystals are all the result of other minerals and metals that were inside of that blood matrix that have crystallized and they all had their own little crystal shapes, hexagons, octagons, yada yada, this and that, triangle. Anyway, they end up crystallizing on the crystalline form of their basic structure. And that is why you see all this, you know, spectacular looking stuff. All right, there's a little more to talk about than just giants and, and things being alive that we thought were dead rocks, because this, <laughs> I mean, literally changed everything there is. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say an absolute thank you to Jesse Garant and Associates for the CAT scans. They did them in the interest of science, and God bless you, my friends, because you were the ones that pulled this thing through. Thank you. Now. Comets and meteorites, they're alive. I mean, they were. There's no question. I show the evidence of that. Now, that means that the things in space are alive. Now, I also have the evidence that Mars was alive and the Earth is alive. I have no question. I have the absolute positive, conclusive evidence. So, let's think about these things as, they're, as they are actually true, because they are actually true. Think about what that means. Now, don't you, oh, 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 this is silly stuff. No, absolutely not. You see the video, and there's no question, unless you, I have no clue how you could come up with any other explanation. Anyway, what does that say? Okay, so now we've got the planets are alive, and there's things floating around in space, and there's uh, uh, lungs or some kind of thing coming into our atmosphere and crashing on a planet. These iron asteroids and things, or, or meteorites. Now, where does that go? Now, that means the ancient texts, they, they said all these things. They said exactly this, and they called these things by names. They said they were alive, and they are alive. Sicker Point, which is the, uh, the place where uh, James Hutton decided that tectonic activity was the cause of it, is absolutely not the cause of it. I have a video on, uh, on, on my channel mudfossils.com channel on YouTube about sicker points and no question it's it's absolutely not from tectonic activity it's from a giant tendon now let's just take this as real because it's real and if you start doing an investigation you're gonna find out it's real and if you just ignore it well you're just being ignorant now where does that go <laughs> it means the earth is made out of giants and it is and I had the exact total evidence of it all over I have 150 videos I've been ignored at this forever and now it's time to really pay attention it's silly you can't you can't hide anymore
The geology is totally wrong in what you've been teaching you. These aren't basalt columns and things like that. Those are muscle and tendon fibers of giant creatures. I have the absolute physical proof. Where does that go? Let's go into physics. How are you going to explain the Big Bang with, with what we're talking about right now? <laughs> you, you, you can't explain what you're talking about. They all have little rocks and pieces of dust all expanded. No, this is all life. So where we go from there? Planetary formation, totally wrong. Cosmic arena, totally wrong. History, totally wrong. Religion, yes, <laughs> totally right. Big Bang, big mistake. Evolution, maybe somewhat, but certainly not, you know, I, I, obviously it didn't evolve out into comets and things. And these things are from life. Tectonics, well, maybe, maybe not. Everything else, totally up in the air. There's not one single thing, not one, that is not affected by this. Even the things they're doing at the uh, uh, Hadron Colliders and all this crazy stuff, all they're doing is taking life and squishing it flatter and flatter. It's like hitting it with a harder windscreen on a car. It's insanity what they're doing, wasting all this money. This is the products of life. They got to get their hands around it and their heads open to looking at this because it's been going on for years. I've been trying to get a look at this and they will, they will not look, absolutely refuse. It's not right. The, the reason for all of this stuff that's in the earth is salvomorphism. It has nothing to do with all these flocculation theories. It's insanity what they came up with. Collaborators? Yeah, I want some collaborators. I'd love to have a collaborator. I did this everything I've done here. Not one single person has touched one of these rocks. Not one. And everybody has think I'm an insane person. And now it's time to look at this. It's insane. But you, know, you guys are all the insane people. How can you live with yourselves not looking at this stuff? You know, you're telling everybody lies. My f f Facebook group is question everything. And now it's time. it is time to question everything. Because not one single thing you've been teaching is right. Because you started in the wrong place. You cannot get here from where you started from. We're not a box of rocks. The whole universe is alive. Let's look at it from that aspect. I'm not fighting you. I don't want to fight you. I just want you to look. Please look.